guys so hope you are doing good in this video uh, we are going to learn about the installation of centos 7 linux operating system so let's boot the centos using cd or you can also uh, boot using usb drive if you have iso image file you can uh, uh, make your usb drive bootable and use that drive to boot the CentOS 7 installation media. So uh, after boot, you can see it's booting uh, the file system. Now it's uh, checking the installation media. You can escape to abort the check. So guys, the setup has been started. Let's choose your language and uh, click on continue button. Now you need to uh, set up a few configurations about your uh, keyboard, language settings, date and time settings. You can uh, choose your uh, time zone from here. You can uh, select your uh, region and country. So I am going to set it because I am from Pakistan. So let's set it to Asia and Pakistan. After uh, selecting a time zone, click on done button. Language is already by default English United States. The important thing here is your software selection. If you want a GUI mode, you can select a computer node. If you are going to deploy this machine as a server, you can click on infrastructure server, basic web server, file and print server, visualization host, server with GUI, genome desktop. If you are going to install on your desktop machine, you can select on genome desktop. Uh, then KDE Plasma development. So if you are good with only uh, command prompt then you can uh, install uh, uh, a minimal install you can select a minimal install feature in this feature option uh, you will not have any GUI uh, console so let's click on done Then select the destination. Uh, it's uh, a partitioning option. You can partition or add any network specialized disk. Now we are going to select our hard disk here and uh, click on done button. Then you can set your host name as well. Uh, let's set the host name. Ar exports dot dot com. So you can also configure your network like if you are going to assign any. Uh, static ip you can change your ip address uh, if you are uh, if you have dhcp server you can uh, uh, it will automatically uh, 
pick IP from uh, DNS machine. Now click on done. Once all the configuration has been done, you can click on uh, begin installation. It will take few minutes depending upon the configurations, uh, depending upon the packages you selected. If you selected GUI uh, desktop or uh, any server with lot of packages, it will take uh, more time and it's also depending upon the uh, hardware specifications of your uh, server. Now you can set the root password uh, during the installation complete. I am going to set up my root password. Click on back button. You can also create uh, users like I am going to create my user. Username would be a Rahman. You can also make this user as administrator. I am uh, just creating a local user, so keep it unchecked. Now define uh, define the password. Password uh, must be strong. click on done button it will automatically create a user and uh, set up the root password it's almost near to complete so let's wait for the installation to complete we are doing a minimal installation so we will not have any uh, traffic user in place or desktop uh, type thing. We will only have a, a terminal command line interface. So that's why it's uh, doing installation quickly because uh, on 297 packages are going to be installed on your Linux server. Later on, you can com configure it it as per your requirements you can install any uh, software which uh, you need to deploy like if, uh, if you are going to deploy as a web server you can uh, download and install the packages uh, like apache or nginx you can jump command uh, installation is very easy on linux uh, you just need to uh, type a single command like uh, yum install genx it will automatically download the package and install from the uh, yum's repository so if you missed any package you can download and install it later The installation has been completed. Now it's uh, performing a post installation setup task. Like uh, it's creating the users and it's configuring the network and access capabilities. 
so let's wait for this process after that it will read the uh, server Installing the boot loader. As it's completed, let's reboot the server. Click on reboot button. So guys, we are back after the Now the server is booting up So we are on login screen. Let's log in using the credentials uh, used to make the installation. So the server is ready. Then check the internet access. You can check the IP. Uh, it's a minimal installation, so some basic commands are not available. You can install as per your requirements. So, guys, I think uh, this tutorial is good enough to understand the installation of Sandbox Server. Uh, thanks for watching this video. Kindly subscribe our channel and uh, follow us for further. Updates. Take care. Goodbye.